I'm Steve Berger with the Robotics Group at Sandia National Laboratories. We call this project Actuation and Control System for Efficient Legged Locomotion, or Excel. Our goal is to develop novel actuator systems that will make legged robots much more energy efficient than the state of the art. We plan to demonstrate this in the Technology Exposition section of the DARPA Robotics Challenge in early June 2015. The sponsor of the work is DARPA. Our partners include the Open Source Robotics Foundation, the Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition, MIT, and Globe Motors. With this video, we're going to provide a glimpse into the process of developing a complex robotic system, just like this one, from the ground up. So today we're in the midst of our build for our first generation robot. First robot is not going to be super efficient, but it's going to let us, let us test out some key drivetrain questions, components, some of the motors we're using, some of the rope uh, and pulley transmissions we're using. Um, so we have some life testing going on right now on some of those transmission elements. We have some pieces that are coming together, some parts of the robot that we're sort of touching up, polishing up, getting fitted together. We're going to start putting the motors together. We're going to start assembling components of the robot um, that same time we have simulations now of the robot modeled as it's going to be and we have initial walking algorithms working so we're getting excited we're getting close to putting this thing together and starting to see if we can take a few steps the whole point of this project is to make energy efficient walking robots we're going to be building two robots in the course of this project so we're working on a first robot now uh, we have it fully mechanically assembled and we're starting to make some of the first movements. So we're starting to do electronics integration and the first software to get the first joints moving. Um, so it's a pretty exciting day. Get a chance to see the robot sort of moving for the very first time. We have one leg kind of pulled up out of the way so we can exercise just the second leg. Right now, we're just trying to sort of establish a baseline. So sort of simple robotics practices, efficient motors, efficient transmissions, uh, see the best we can do. Uh, one nice feature of this that we've discovered, we didn't really think even too much about it, is it's very quiet uh, because we have nice, smooth control over the motors and we have some transmissions that are, uh, that are very efficient. So um, if we can, we'll take a step back and see if it's gonna move for us. So right now we're just powering two joints, two of the hip joints. Um, the other ones are just along for the ride. So everything the knee is doing in the ankles is just floating for the moment. Uh, so we have our first version of electronics up on top. So far everything's behaving just how we want it to. At the same time, we sort of still have our R&D activities ongoing. These will support the second robot. Um, so over here on the test stand, what we're trying to do is test some, uh, some uh, interventions that we'll put at some of the joints um, that are specifically targeted to save energy and take advantage of, uh, of the characteristics of walking. So in this case, we're looking at these big heavy-duty springs. These will get loaded up. So for instance, at the ankle, when you step, uh, the ankle can absorb a lot of energy stored in that spring, and when you go to sort of toe back off, that energy comes back out of the spring. So we got this first set of robot legs fully assembled. We've proved out our joint electronics, and we're starting to make the robot move. Now all we got to do is get it standing and then walking. Then we got to design and build another robot, get it standing, get it walking really efficiently, and then take it down to the demo and show it off to everybody. So we got a lot of work ahead of us, but we'll check in soon and see how it's coming along. Thank you. 